Hey there guys, this is my second vlog, don't worry, I'm not going to make this a habit unless you want me to. Anyway, I just wanted to warn you guys, yes, the World Cup is on, um, but I just wanted to warn you guys, firstly, I won't be doing videos for a few weeks, and that's actually why I've been doing quite a lot of videos this week to compensate for the lack of videos over the next two, three weeks, uh, because I'm going away. But when I come back, you can expect me to do a top five Google successes video after I did the failures video. The link should be below to the failures video. Um, the Nexus 5 review, the camera I'm recording this with, and maybe some other stuff. I haven't really put anything set and concrete, and my arm is already getting tired. Um, this is like 30 seconds in, and my arm's aching already. Yeah, pro health right here. Anyway, I'm looking at some camcorders now, and um, I have this magazine here, or the catalogue rather. This is John Lewis Technology Magazine, and um, it was just downstairs in the kitchen table, so I decided to take a look at it. Um, and they've only got four camcorders shown here, and, and um, two of them are out of my price range by quite a lot. But I just wanted to show this to show you what I'm... I'm not really considering these, because I'm considering another one, which I'll show you afterwards. But, um... Yeah, so you can see this is Sony HDR PJ... If that ever focuses. J530. Um, that's... Oh. Low battery. Um, anyway. So, and then there's a the Panasonic... Now this, I, I want to get a Panasonic camcorder, and I probably will, but that's really pricey. It does have Wi-Fi, but to be honest, I don't care too much for that. Now this, um, it, lo it looks really good, like the price especially, I even highlighted it. But uh, when researching, it just doesn't, it kind of lacks some features that I kind of need on a camcorder. And then we have the Canon. I've researched it. Now, it is 3 megapixels. Um, now, if you understand a bit about video, you know video is actually... 920 by 1080 is about 2 megapixels, maybe? So, like that, it's not as bad as it sounds, but um, because I'm quite a noob at this, it's it just doesn't look very good when you have 3 megapixels for a £284 camera. Right above it, you have a 9.2 megapixel camera for £189. And I know megapixels aren't everything, but yeah, like, I'm not really keen on that one. So yeah, those are the camcorders. I'm, they were just that. I just wanted to look at those. Um, now, the one I am actually looking at, bear with me here, guys is this one and I'm sorry if this does yeah it should expose fine. This is the H H C V twenty E B K. Um so this actually even has OIS which is really cool. And it has Wi Fi and NFC features I the Wi Fi and NFC I probably won't use but it's a nice feature to have nonetheless. It it, it looks a bit bare bones but Really, it's only two hundred and eighty-two pounds, and uh, I don't have too much to spend. So, um, I'm looking for a good camcorder, and yes, I do have the DSLR. You can actually see it just over there. And I'm gonna zoom in, and it's gonna look like rubbish, but just so you can see that, that's the Nikon D thirty two hundred there, um, which works really well, but. It's, it takes a while to set up each time, and for some videos it actually works better having a camcorder due to the autofocus, because uh, DSLRs don't really autofocus well, unless they're more aimed towards videos. So camcorders are good at autofocusing, so I'm looking at a camcorder. Um, yeah, so that's it. So, And if you have any recommendations for camcorders, please do tell me down below. I'm really interested in because it, I'm really interested in this stuff because well this I've looked for reviews online and there's not a lot out there the camcorder market isn't really the biggest one and 
there's very little reviews on it and that's kind of what I want to do I want to do some camcorder reviews and I'm not going to do I'm not going to become a camcorder channel but there's a lack of camcorder reviews on the internet and I want to kind of fill that gap so that may be somewhere where I expand in the future so there's a bit of insight for you guys anyway as I said please do tell me down below if you recommend any camcorders maybe if you can't recommend a specific one a brand that you recommend I've heard Panasonic is generally the best but if you think I've white you know what to do down in the comments as always like if you liked it dislike if you did like it and subscribe to see more and I promise you I don't just do vlogs but I like to do occasional vlogs um, just keep you guys updated keep you guys in the know let's say anyway before I sound like a complete doofus bye bye